Nation. Once again, welcome to Lunch Money. We're your new noon. I'm your host, Gina Savage, the uh, producer, owner of Sunshine State Comedy. I'm joined with comedian, actress, the host of Christy Unleashed, uh, and also my partner, Crime, the lovely and talented Christy Miller. Oh, you're talking about me? I was hearing all this great shit. I was like, who's on the show? <laughs> We, who is on the show? Just us, ladies and gentlemen, just us. That's all you need. That's it. And you know what? Yep. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it, bitch. It's Monday. Ugh. And it's Monday. <laughs> I know. I know. But I, I wanted to give the element of surprise on a Monday because there's a good chance there's going to be a, a wardrobe malfunction on this. I, the thing, the strap broke. And like, and, and I jerry rigged my own shiz here. And uh, it's a good chance we're gonna have wardrobe malfunction. Happy hey, Monday. Hey, I'm gonna play the part of Justin Timberlake and rip your titty out. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's Gina Jackson, everybody. We went to the right same song. <laughs> Cause we're trash, that's why. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Okay, so you know, starting off on that very um, simplistic level, hi. Uh, we are Rhythm are Nation 2021. <laughs> <laughs> the old ass version of Eddie. <laughs> 1821, sweetie. <laughs> we we were we were off last week because you know the Fourth of July and a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Whole lot of shaking going on. All yeah, I'm not old. I'm not old. <laughs> All the fireworks scared me like the dogs. I ran away from home. <laughs> nothing. Um, nothing. What did okay. you what 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 did what did you did on the fourth? What did I do? What did what I did do? You, what did you do? What did I do? Oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, everything's Grandma a blur. Moses. <laughs> well, everything's a blur in New York City. I oh. was up, I was up north. I saw you not for the fourth, but I got to see you and and Janice Massetti uh, over at the broad over at the Broadway. At uh, the Broadway. <laughs> at the Broadway, I got to see Dina and a few other people, and you know. Uh, yeah, Friday yeah. night was fun. And, Friday night was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. And Janice Danielle. Got oh. To see. Janice, I'm Janice Danielle. <laughs> Welcome to the Broadway Comedy Club. You know, hey, <laughs> is there? I don't know if this is true or not, but is there a, a contest? I think there's a contest for New York's most New York accent. Like she should do that. Oh, her accent is like perfect for that. And Janice too. There's a few people that should do it. Yeah, yeah, Janice. Miss, all, anybody named Janice that lives in New York, <laughs> go to this contest because every Janice I know has that fucking accent. Think of Janice for friends. Oh my god! <laughs> and then there's Janice Massetti, you piece of shit. And then there's Janice Danielle. <laughs> Welcome to Broadway Comedy Club. It's just wow. the night of a thousand Janices. <laughs> You know what? That that should be the next show. Yes. That's a show idea. The night of a thousand Janice. Everybody on the show is named Janice. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Al. <laughs> we just you. You're welcome. We just gave you a show. The Janice's night. The night um, of a thousand Janices. Oh, oh my god. It, oh my god. <laughs> I'm, do it. I'm, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. So funny. I'm dead. Um, yeah. So that was. Uh, so yeah, I got to see you know, and and of course, a few days that I was there, it was like kind of overcast, and then there were some like blaze out, ninety six degrees, go kill yourself kind of days that I was like, uh oh, -uh, no, -uh, not having this. Yeah, it, it's it's been lately, even after you left, like I uh, headlined a gig in New Jersey this past Friday in Newark mm -hmm. and no work. Hey, get it, sweetie? <laughs> Everybody's on crack. Nothing. God damn it. Is this thing on? <laughs> 
So uh, what happened? It was, it was so hot. And it, it was just like, like coming home. It just felt like I was walking inside of a fucking uterus. Like I literally felt yeah. like an embryo. Like I swear to God, it was just like I was in the fucking fluid. And I was just kind of floating towards the train station. And then you get in there and it's like, it's so fucking hot. Then you get right. to Penn and you got to walk like 13 miles all the way through Penn Station to get to mm -hmm. the E train. And the E train was delayed. And I'm sitting there. And I don't remember if you remember that scene from Airplane when he was uh, flying the plane, you know, when the, all the yes. pilots died and he's flying and he's sweating. <laughs> he's trying, yes, yes. And he's just soaked. That was me. That's sad. I mean, there's no funny ending to the story, but it was it's just okay. like, it was just disgusting. And it's just like, ugh. It's the kind of heat that you're just like, you're just angry. You're just like, mm -hmm. uh, you're just like angry. I was, yeah. I was angry in the heat and I was like not having the subway. I wasn't having it. Yeah. I wasn't feeling it. I don't want any part of it. Although I did see fireworks and they were lovely. And, he, and, uh, and so, yes. I remember so, what I did now on the fourth. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I did not. A, I actually caught up on my Real Housewives of New York and Beverly Hills episodes when I was behind. That was my happy fourth. <laughs> that's that. So that, that no, that's a good. That's a good fourth. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, speaking of catching up, segues are for kids. Uh, even though, so, uh, but uh, catching up. I, I did a lot of catching up on my paranormal shows and stuff like that. But I think it's important to note um, in the news because. Uh, my man, uh -oh. Richard, my man, Richard Branson, you know, the billionaire, uh, -huh. uh that mo that mofo went up in space yesterday up Dude. in his own private rocket jam. Look at how <laughs> he was the first flying virgin <laughs> in space. Nothing. Come on, people. I just wrote that. Nothing. <laughs> it's great. Because it, it certainly wouldn't be us. Um, and, you know what I love Eddie, the most about this whole story is that what? he did it on purpose to beat Jeff Bezos. <laughs> that, was, oh, that was the only reason he did it. That's billionaire right. bitch problems. That's, That's like billionaire bitch. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I, fuck you. I'm going to be the first guy in space because, you know, and, and you could do that. Like, do you think I could do that? No, I couldn't even afford a cab ride to Lower East Side, let alone flying into out of space. Oh my God, could you? I, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I want to win the, I want to win the, so here's a couple of things with that. So I, 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 of course, swiping everything from CNN, uh, like whatever. Um, so um, look, I have to, even with glasses, I have to go back to East Jesus to read the freaking, all right, maybe these are better. Hello. Okay, let me, in true, Thank you. Um, so Branson, by the way, it was just lovely and like a, a perfect situation. Branson announced a partnership with a charity fundraising site, Omaze, which will allow people to donate to Humanity for Space uh, to demo uh, democratize space so that everybody could, you know, maybe it just doesn't have to be for the elite to go to space. Uh, but uh, he's... Um, you're going to get a chance to win two seats. Like I work for the guy. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> and listen, if you do, if you donate, you might win two seats on the Virgin uh, Galactic commercial flight. But oh, my I'm God, you get your tickets today. <laughs> to get, I get <laughs> Janice, get your tickets. Uh, oh, my God. I'm going to get a ticket to out of space. I'll finally fly Virgin. I haven't see, been one since. I haven't been one since 1847. <laughs> She's got a ticket to outer space. <laughs> you know what I keep thinking of when I was watching the video footage of him, of the, of his shuttle or whatever? Pigs in space. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept singing. Hi, I'm 90. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I kept singing billionaire in space. Brad's in its base. Billion. I don't know why. I was just doing that. Because I'm nuts. See, uh, because you're yeah. thinking of money and I'm thinking of fucking people with their puppets with their hands shoved up their ass. That's where, that's where my head goes. <laughs> my um, <pal. laughs> I'm thinking of money and I'm thinking of, I would like to go to space and I would like to scope out the aliens as you know, I would like to do. Oh, I want to go to space. I get the 
fuck away from all these crazy people down here. Can't take it. Could you imagine in space if there were just this ratchet? Like you have an alien friend that's like a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> meet my meet 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 meet. meet. You like sh- you like shut up with your with your meeps. Just shut up with your your meep. meep. Uh, my luck, I'd go up in space and there'd be that crackhead. Yo, let me hold twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> let me hold. Oh, meep, 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 meep. Let me, let me, hold, let me hold five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the, the alien. Why I gotta say meep? Why I gotta? Why am oh, I meeping? Why, why I gotta be a meeping <laughs> shit, yo? And there'll be like a crackhead bitch go. I'll suck your meat for two fifty. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, <clears throat> anyway, congrats and kudos uh, to my man, Branson. You should anyway. be Branson, yeah. You should be so, Branson, yeah. So far, so far, no wardrobe malfunction. You can see how I rigged it up. Oh, that um, is so. Hey, Paige, Mr. Rig, Mr. Jerry Rig <laughs> to the white courtesy telephone, please. Okay, let's keep it moving. I'm um, speaking. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Uh, I got to collect myself for this one. Um, speaking of spaced out. Uh oh. Bill Cosby wants to do comedy. He wants to do a comedy tour. Discuss. You see, when I was in the slammer, I was writing jokes and I was trying to keep them off my old ass so they wouldn't slip me the pudding pop and blah. He should. Mm. He really you think should. He should. Yes, a hundred percent should. What? What? Okay, couple things. A hundred. I'm not weighing in with an opinion, as you could probably imagine. I'm just going to keep neutral here. Okay. I will say this. I will just say this, and then I want to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. You know, if if like people go to the slammer and they're all they're accused of all sorts of crimes, mm-hmm. right? Some more heinous than the next, and then somehow they pay their dues. Maybe not in his case, because. The high court released him under a cloud of whatever. I'm not quite sure of the technicalities, but they let him out. Does he now have the right to earn a living? A, that's my question to you. Does he have the right to earn a living? There right. are comics and interested parties that may want to hear from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now your thoughts. My thoughts is I, no matter how much I hate somebody, or how much I disagree with their belief systems or their political affiliations, I would never begrudge the right to somebody to earn a living. A, because that is your right. I would rather see you earn a living than go on welfare and have to, and let the government take care of it. You know what I mean? Like, and, and fall apart. I don't think, I think everybody has a right to earn a living. Bill Cosby just happens to earn a big living. And, but I, think it's a smart move. I I hate, first of all, I hate Bill Cosby. I think he's a scumbag. I think he should have stayed behind bars. But the bottom line is, this is what, because we're such a fucked up society, people want to hear from him. I want to hear from him because I'm curious because A, I want material to roast him. And B, I just, you know, it's just you, everybody wants to hear from the horse's mouth. So with that being said, the fact that he's going to do this, you don't have to go see it. You don't have to download it. You don't even have to fucking watch any clips or anything or give it any attention. That's your right to it. You're, you have the God-given right to not feed into it, to not spend your money on him or to change the channel or the streaming or flip through or whatever the fuck it is. But he mm-hmm. does have, and I think he should have done it from jail. Hello. I, 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 I do believe I, I do believe, I do believe he has some jail spin on what he's, you know, there's like a jail spin. Like he met some, obviously some other inmates and there's some stories that are supposedly in this docu-series that right. will sort of tie that shit in. Uh, I don't have, I don't have an opinion. It's like, whatever, you yeah. know, uh, right. I don't have an opinion. Uh, I just will say this, you know, how again with all these types of uh, things that people are accused of and go to jail for, and then they come out or whatever the case may be, uh there's a long list of them and um i do believe people are still watching their movies they're watching their television shows i mean 
you know, uh, we know, uh, you know, um, there have been a couple of comedians that like, you know, drug, uh, you know, things and this and that. And like, they're not like as heinous as what this is, right. but, uh, but they still, they have to overcome certain things. He's 83. Um, yeah. you know, now think of this, Gina, think of this. Yeah. This is this generation's OJ. OJ committed a heinous crime. Right. And got out and got away with it. Bill Cosby committed a heinous crime. His lawyer was smart. His lawyer is really fucking smart. So when he got Bill to admit and say exactly what happened and admit to it, it was to pay the girl off so she'd get a big payout, probably a book deal, some public speaking shit. She'd make money off it. And he said, if we, if, if Bill admits to this and we'll make this go away, you can't try him ever again for these charges. You can never put these charges against him ever again if he signs this and admits to it. So that was the deal. So Is when all this deal? got, that was what happened. So that they found that clause of the original paperwork from the original charges being filed when he admitted, yes, I slipped her. Yes, I drugged her. Yes, it was consensual. Yes, she agreed to it, but he drugged her and, and had his way with her. So the fact is he admitted everything, but the, the, for him to admit it, he wanted that his lawyer got that for him in return. That's why he's free. Come on, who do you know what the white government's gonna let a black guy out of jail for nothing? <laughs> There's the clip. There's the clip. So yeah, I, I you know, listen. I just think they they found it. They just found it. They knew it was there. Ah, uh, they try. I think they what what happened is that the statute limitations they thought was up when they pressed the charges again. Because once the statute right. limitations is up on that agreement they could retry him but because gotcha. they missed it by like a month or two they fucked the dates up and they put the charges in so it was still technically protected that's the technicality that got him out a lot of technicalities yeah. um all, all in the timing people it's like comedy all in the timing <laughs> yeah be funny um all right so what do you have <laughs> be funny see, that's the timing i was in the jail and i was in the jail and i did the thing and i tried to buy nbc and they took it away and wow i never met that guy but i do have an experience where i was friends with his daughter and he couldn't find her one night because she was hanging out with me and he left a message on my uh, voicemail, which I had for many years, which was, you know, hey, it's Mr. Cosby. I'm looking for my daughter. We were just hanging out. <laughs> Let's just Mr. leave it Cosby, at that. I'm looking for my daughter. For my daughter. Yeah. And it was like really fatherly. That's all I could say about that. Right. Um, Because I'm under I'm looking for uh, my. No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking for my daughter so I could <laughs> slip her a drug. Because... No, you're so wrong. Okay. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we have. <laughs> We have, um, well, what's going on? And then I want to, we have a uh, fan mail. Ooh, sexy. I haven't, so, I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have fan. I know. We have fan, fan mail, but fan what's mail. Going on this, what's going on? Let's see. Uh, this week, uh, Wednesday at four o'clock, live on Twitch. G uh, Gina, this is right up your alley. I'm doing Frank Mignola's uh, paranormal show. Um, it's at four o'clock. Uh, hold on. Let me look it up and see what it's called. Cause I always forget. Uh, cause I'm, uh, an asshole and I don't have it in here anymore. Uh, hold on. Look at, look. but it's at four o'clock live on Twitch on the drinks, jokes and storytelling channel. Uh, I will be doing his paranormal show of, uh, uh, uh. night meds is what it's called. Night meds. Oh, no, yes. I knew that. I, yes. That show's been around for a while. Good for right. Frank and good for you. Yeah, yeah so that'll be great. fun. So we're going to tell ghost stories. And believe me, I'm the, the ghost whisperer. <laughs> I'm like the ones that the ghosts will come up. Let me hold $5. You know, they always bother <laughs> me. <laughs> and then that night, Wednesday night, the same night, people, 9 p.m. Right. Eastern Standard Time. All these time zones are Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday at 9 p.m. on govsradio.com is another brand new episode of Christy Unleashed. And uh, unfortunately, Mark Riccadonna is traveling at that time mm. and doing a show. So we are, I'm looking for a replacement for that day for just this episode, but Mark won't be with us. He'll be back next week. He's just, he, he overbooked himself. So 
That's Wednesday, then Thursday night at the Producers Club right here in New York City at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing a show with Alex Starr, which is always a lot of fun. I love him. And then love him uh, too. next Sunday night, I will be at Broadway Comedy Club with Sharon Simon for the first live taping of her show that she created when the pandemic hit, The Mating Game. Great. That's great. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So awesome. 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 So, Very good. What about you? Um, cool. For Well, for me, I, of course, I have the Dubliner every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. It's a free show when we always have, you know, uh, the top comics doing spots there. Your show, uh, your show, people, if you're in Florida, this show is popping. The, 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 the videos fees I see is it. And the people I've heard feedback from, friends of mine in Florida go to the shows. This shit is popping. You're all missing out. It's a it's a little bit of a scene uh, now, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I wasn't there last week, obviously, but I will be there this week. And um, and so you know, you know, my boy Lalo is hosting. He didn't host last week, actually. Zach McGovern hosted, who's talented, and actually hooked right. me up with Lalo. So Lalo's back. David Fantastic. Sadman, who I love, he does his own show at the Beer Garden in Boca. Shout Ooh. out to David. Minda, Minda Mo. I don't know her. I'm looking forward to seeing a new funny female that I am yes, not in my funny women. S- s- uh, scope. This uh, this young guy, uh, Riley Edwards, who I think is really funny. And then we're closing out with Clyde Gordon, who I just think is um, it's just so funny and um, people love him. So we've yeah. got that. And then and then July 30th, Johnny Azari is um, going to be headlining at. Um, Respectable Street in West Palm Beach, July 30th, 8 p.m. Tickets are on sale. Sunshinerespect.eventbrite.com. It's only $10. So look that shit up. I said it. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Is uh, July yeah. 28th at Broadway Comedy Club, uh, Salami Entertainment. Uh, it's me and a- I know it's, it's Joe Salabi. I love him. He's the greatest. Uh, mm-hmm. It's me and Angel Salazar at Broadway Comedy Club for one night only together. Again, after all these years, we are back together. Our crazy asses. That's uh, what night Wednesday, is that? Wednesday, July twenty eighth at seven p.m. at Broadway Comedy Club. It's going to be a phenomenal show. We have uh, Lana Siebel's hosting, and uh, this other guy, a Florida comic. He's really cool. Oh my God, I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. And then and it's me and Angel. So um, with the opener and me and Angel. So oh, I then, wonder who it is. Yeah. I for, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll have it for okay. next week, everybody. Um, okay. And then July 29th, we are doing, uh, Jose Vega and I are doing Sorry, Not Sorry comedy. It's me, John Fugel saying, Irene Bremis, jo- Jose Vega, and Janice Massetti will be hosting that show. Oh my God, what a right? great show that is. Yep. That's Tickets great. are on sale on Eventbrite or you can get them at the door. It's 20 bucks at the door, uh, 15 in advance. Uh, I'll post the Eventbrite link right below. And that's it. Where's Fantastic. our fan mail? I want to hear from All right. who, who loves us. So, um, well, we haven't heard from Pauly in Staten Island. He's still um, alive? So <laughs> he's still alive. He's written to us. Um, if you have just tuned in for the first time, this portion of the program where Christy interprets the meaning and intent behind the letter that the fan mail that we get. And so, um, here we go. <clears throat> Dear G. Yep. You ready? Okay. Yep. Polly, Polly from Staten Island. Polly from Staten Island. How you doing? Dear Gina and Christy, where have you been? Ciao, Gina and Christy, where the fuck have you who has been, eh? <laughs> Believe it or not, me and the guys missed you. And, and when was it? Two weeks? It's been two weeks? Let me tell you something. You freaking broads ain't been around for two freaking weeks, and we all missed you at the pizzeria. You got that? Capiche? How you doing? Forget about it. Suck my dick over here, eh? How you got a bajor, huh? <laughs> You girls are so funny and sexy, and we get such a kick out of you. You freaking broads are so freaking hot over here (laughs) that I would stick my fucking brujol so far up your fucking ace. I get it. I love you. (laughs) Pretty pretty on point. Pardon me. Hmm. 
Gina, were you in New York? One of the guys said he saw a post from you in New York. Gina, were you in freaking New York and you didn't fucking tell me, you piece of shit? Fuck out of here. You can't come to freaking New York and not tell freaking Polly fucking gobbledygooks over here that you ain't fucking here. Yeah. yeah, you're right on it. He goes, are you kidding me? The two of you didn't have time to come to the pizzeria? You guys could have came and ate a slice for free over here. Yeah? The pizzeria <laughs> ain't Oh, hey, somebody, right. somebody, yeah, somebody for you. He, and he, in closing, he says, if I didn't love you guys so much, I'd take it as a sign of disrespect, but I know how busy you are. I don't mean no disrespect, but when you freaking broads come all the way to freaking New York over here and you's together and you don't freaking tell me out of here, I find it fucking very disrespectful. I don't mean no disrespect, but I would slap the fucking <laughs> shit out of you the next time I fucking see you, but I fucking love you, so I'm going to let it fucking slide, all right? <laughs> That's it. He says, anyway, looking forward to your next episode. Love and pizza, Paulie. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love you, and uh, you can fuck off, and I love you, and I'll, I'll I just keep listening to your freaking little show over here while I eat a slice, and I fucking jerk it <laughs> <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we have the we have the upper we have the upper echelon of fans, don't we? <laughs> Only the upper the echelon. We have the Robert Brands, Richard Branson <laughs> fan elitism. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah. We got wardrobe malfunctions. We got Paul. Wardrobe malfunctions. What yeah, else do you need? Yeah. We just need a, a, a night of a thousand Genesis. That's all we need. And that's I'm our dead. time. I'm fucking dead. That's it. That's all she wrote. Oh, God. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you Thank again. You. And, yep. uh, Same. well, Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Lunch Money. We are your new noon. And I've been Christy Miller. And this has been Gina Savage. And you can see us here every Monday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And so that's it. And we will see you all next Monday. Bye, bitches.